hit me. Oh, dear God. Mama, you've never hit me before. I'm so sorry, Mia. I swore that I would never take a hand to my children. But you wouldn't stop saying those crazy things. And I just had to find a way to make you snap out of it. They weren't crazy, Mama. I couldn't let you go to Ethan. The doctor, to tell him that you love him. That would only lead to pain and anguish. For you, for Gwen, for Ethan. I mean, do you want that? No, and Mama. And even... Even if Ethan loves you, he couldn't marry you, Teresa. His family wouldn't permit it, and his mother would never allow him to do anything she didn't approve of. And nothing means more to Ivy Crane than her son. I'm so sorry. I didn't... I know. Mama, it's all right. No, it isn't. It isn't, Teresa. But the way you think about Ethan can only lead to heartbreak. Teresita, it's time you start living in the real world. Mama, what is in my heart is real. No. No, no, it's a fantasy. The only reality is that Ethan and Gwen will be married. No, not if Ethan... I know. I know what you're going to say. That Ethan is beginning to realize he loves you. That's only wishful thinking, Teresa. Mama, I know you want what's best for me. I love you so much. Thank you, Mama. I love you too, Teresa. I've got a few things to do before I leave. But I want you to go home and rest. See? I don't agree with your mother slapping you, Teresa, but I do think she's right about you not telling Ethan. I don't know what I'm going to do. What about you? Me? Yeah. I mean, how are things going with you and Chad? There is no me and Chad, okay? But there will be. You know why? Yeah, I know. Fate. That's why you met Chad and I met Ethan. Fate. It's the same way with my parents. Even though Papa's been away for years, Mama can't get him out of her heart the same way I can't get Ethan out of mine. Sometimes, no matter what a woman does, she can't get over the man she loves. Look, Teresa, I know it's going to be hard for you. But the simple fact is you're just going to have to forget about Ethan. That is nowhere near a fact, Wit. I don't want to talk about this anymore. You know, I want to hear about Chad. What did he say about the picture? Oh, well, he said it didn't mean anything. Crumbled it up into a ball and threw it against the wall. What? Well, didn't you tell him how you feel about him? No! Whitney... Look, I don't have any feelings for Chad. Okay? If you keep denying your feelings, you're going to totally miss out on love. I am not going to let this happen. We are not going to miss out. You know what we're going to do? We are going to go to the men we love and tell them how we feel. What? And you're going to go to Chad and tell him you have feelings for him, and I'm going to do the same with Ethan. I'm going to find him and tell him I love him. Hey, 
Then what's wrong? Ethan? What's wrong? I'm not telling Chad anything of the sort, okay? I'm gonna concentrate on my tennis. And you are gonna forget about Ethan. He and Gwen are getting married. There's nothing you can do about it. No, oh, Whitney, you're so wrong. But I'm not gonna do anything. Fate will see to it. Ethan and I are meant to be together. To be husband and wife. That's why I know only good will come out of my going to him. Teresa, I just want to make Ethan choose between Gwen and me. So the next time Ethan and I are alone, I'm going to tell him how deeply